Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Sorry about last episode being a little bit shorter than I thought it was. I um I thought I had failed the speedway more. Or not the speedway, I meant the um the skill point. Because what I do want to do, there's another speedway, and I would have attached it to the end of the last episode, but I thought that getting that skill point took so long that I didn't, I didn't want another long episode. Anyway. Holy fuck. Yeah. Kind of weird cutscenes at the start. Um, but this is Magma Cone, and this is, I think, the strangest level in all of Spyro history. Hello, Spyro! I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. It's it's very much like there's two distinct parts of this level. Although there is actually like another one, so I guess there's like three major parts really. And what I mean by that is that you do go inside the volcano and it's pretty super cool. But there's there's a like, I don't know. There's a lot of weird memories that I have of this level. Specifically, I remember this being one of the last levels I ever completed 100%. The first time I played this game, way back when I was a little kid. So, um... Yeah, you beat the Earth Shapers with the help of the native fawns in this game, which is kind of cool. I, uh, should be double jumping up here, but I can't because I'm too bad at this game. Oh my god, I can't even Spyro. Okay, there we go. Because the thing about the double jump is you actually get a little bit of extra height if you're moving or charging forward and then you stop. So, and then do the double jump, like you'll keep your momentum. So it's really weird. I really don't like those enemies at all either. They're just so annoying the way they like throw one rock at you and then run. And, uh... Well, I guess I started talking about why this was the last level I ever completed in Spyro 2. Or one of the last levels. I don't think it was actually the last one. I can't remember what the actual last one that I completed was. But all I know is that this one was up there. And it took me an incredibly long time to even find there where one of the... Well, actually, two of the orbs in this level are. So... Man, these Earth Shapers have really huge reaches. Reaches, wow, that is like such an awkward word. Awkward word, that's, an, that's like an awkward two-word phrase, man. Jeez. I like this one, though. I'll, I'll just let you take in those ridiculous sounds that he makes with the hula 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 hula. You're jackhammering into his back, man. You're jackhammering. Cute little snails on this level is fodder. I notice I've been commenting on the fodder a lot lately. And that's one thing about this game. Like, the fodder felt a lot more unique in this game than it did in Spyro 3. Just more memorable as a whole. Something about it, I don't know what. So there's a lot of gems up here. And speedrunning strategies! Hooray! Okay. So that's a nice little shortcut. I am double jumping in this level a little bit more than usual, but that's just because I don't want it to take forever. So, um, what we're about to do now is the thing that took me forever to discover when I was a kid. I never even knew this was here for, like, the first several times I went through to this level. But there's this big fucking, like, ice cavern in here. And for a really long time... This was my least favorite thing in any Spyro game ever. Hey, Spyro! Check out this cool cave I found! <laughs> Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins! I hated this. I'm ready when you are. I hated this so much. And you have to do this twice. So one of them is, um... It's, it's like, you have to beat Hunter to 10. The other one, you have to get 15. And I am not good at this either. So what you should be doing, really... Like, if I were smarter, I would be doing this. Like, going up to Hunter, and then, like, stealing the ones from under his grasp. Oh, get that one. Thank you. Thank you. 
It still feels like pretty nail biting, I guess. It's close, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna win. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> you win. Here's an orb. Yeah. So the the second one where you have to get 15 is even harder. Um, I am just not very good at it. You have to kind of learn I'll where they're going to go. I'll you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? But yeah, I failed this so many times. Ready when you are. I hated it so much. It was just like, words cannot express. So for a really long time, I never looked forward to going to Magma Cone. Okay, camera, you please don't be my enemy. And this is not good. If I fail this challenge, I'm gonna cry. Because, oh, two popping up in the same place. Where are more of them? I am getting not very good patterns. Oh my god, he's beating me six to four? What the fuck? That's not good. At all. Well, man. Tied up. This is intense, man. Ha. Huh. I don't even have any words for this. It's just crazy. We're neck and neck. Oh, man, he got that one. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck! I thought I took that one. Please. I know I'm not talking much. I'm just trying to concentrate because I'm bad. You're really good. <sighs> I'm going to have to come up with some harder games. For now, take this orb. I guess you earned it. Please don't. I still don't like doing this at all. Like, I don't think it's quite as hard as I thought it was when I was a kid, but I still really don't like doing it. Um, anyway, so fun fact now, we've got 39 orbs, and you actually only need 40 orbs in this game to fight Ripto. So, there's that. Um, now, there should be gems down. Yep, oh yeah. I don't know. Double jump. Yay! <laughs> Saving time! Because this is kind of a long level, too, so I don't really feel that bad using the double jump to get these, like, little shortcuts. Where am I going? I don't know. Okay, we need to get up into where that volcano is. The, the volcano. And where... Oh, my God. I am so dumb sometimes, I tell you. But yeah, I don't know. It feels like we're already getting close to the end of this LP, and I know we aren't is the thing. But I've also been thinking about, like... Spyro, you dumb bitch. Oh my god. At least we can double jump and get back pretty quickly. But... Yeah, so I've been kind of thinking about, like, the next LP that I want to do. And I've recorded this, like, fairly far in advance, just because I know I'm not going to get that many opportunities. God damn it, Spyro! What is your fucking damage, man? I swear to God, when I play this on console, I don't have this kind of difficulty with the ladders. Because I had ladder, like, ladder problems coming up here in the first place. So, so I don't know. But yeah, so I've recorded this fairly far in advance. Like, right now I've only uploaded part 6, and I think this is like part 12 or 13 or something. And, um, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that exactly. But, and I think that, you know, I've been doing the race with Psychotic Ranboob, and I think as soon as that's done, I'm going to start my next LP. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. Yes, It's a that. pleasure doing business with you. Simply step on the elevator, and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. Of course, there is a way to get around paying money bags, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah, what I've been thinking about doing is, um, like, as soon as the race is done, and the race ended up being seven parts, I don't know if I mentioned that, um, but as soon as the rate we're done with the race, I'm going to start working on my next LP and then alternate between that and this until this is done. And then I'm going to go back and do Mint Story and Threads of Fate while the my next LP is going on. And I know what my next LP is going to be. Fuck, Spyro, why didn't you grab onto the fucking ladder? What the hell, man? 
Oh man, you can imagine how much I raged at the freaking uh, hunter challenge if I got so angry at falling off of a ladder. But, whoa! Holy shit, don't fall in the lava! Okay, this is really bad now. Why won't Spyro work with ladders? Ladders won't work. I did not fucking mean to do that. Oh my god. But we've got so many extra lives now, I don't think it really matters. Why are these ladders giving me so many fucking problems? I don't know what the deal with that is. I'm trying to talk about my next LP. Gosh, and the fucking ladders are just, like, tearing me a new one here. Anyway, so I know what it is. It is an RPG. I will tell you that. And, um, it was actually, like, I was stuck between three RPGs deciding what my next LP was going to be. Because there's three that I really like, and I do plan on eventually doing all of them. But I really just kind of got a jonesing to play this game. And... Uh, Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. And, well, anyway, so I decided to pick the next game that I'm going to do. Essentially because, like, it's not a game that I can just pick up and play anytime I want to. It's a game that I have to, like, get in the mood to play. And it's a mood that, like, really only happens when the stars align, so... Hey, Spyro! You're just in time for the party! Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. It just won't be the same without party hats. Ugh, really? You're gonna ask me to get your hats? Can't you just go to the store and buy new ones, man? What the hell's your problem? Anyway, these lava monsters are actually pretty interesting, and this is, um... I guess one of the more challenging challenges in the game. Because you have to kill these things with the, um... With, like, these rocks that are all around the level. And... They don't hurt you if they, like, do their little, uh party thing at you. Flame the balloon! I just, oh my god, why is this level going so terribly? Wow. That was bad. That was embarrassingly stupid. Anyway. Um. What was I, what was I even saying? I was talking about this game and this challenge. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, so if they hit you with their little, like, tongue thing, they won't actually damage you, but what will happen... God damn it. I wanted to pick up that rock. But they will knock you in the lava, and you'll take damage then. And oftentimes you'll get, like, comboed, and you'll take, like, maybe two hits from the lava. Or at least I remember that happening as a kid. I used to think this challenge was hard. Now I just think it's time-consuming more than anything. Oh my god, what the fuck? Fucking lava and why can't I this level? Fortunately, you do get the power-up for like a really long time, so you don't have to fly back too terribly often. But I, this is another like one of those challenges that like, if you know the other way to do this challenge, then it really does, it makes a huge difference about how quickly you go through it, so. Okay, now I don't have sparks and this is bad. This is really bad. This is, it, you know what would be terrible? The worst thing in the world would be is if I died twice in the same level. So I'm gonna pick up the fodder here. Yay. Yay for fodder. Fodder is our friend. Fodder is friend and not food. Well, actually it's kind of both. And you die now, Mr. Lava Party Hat Monster. Party Monster, man. Party Central. Catch you later, Slater. Is that what he even says? I don't know. It's been such a long time since I've seen that movie. Dazed and confused. Thanks, Spyro. You saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. That is kind of disgusting. I don't want that nasty orb that's been in your mouth, dude. So, I guess the sad reality is that I'm missing gems right now, and uh, I don't know where they are either. So, yay. Let's just use the Sparks ability. I guess they're back up in the, um, 
in the main area. You know, oh, fuck, I know where they are. I saw them, and I was, I, like, made a mental note to, like, go and get them. But I had to turn around to pick up other gems, and I forgot to get them. They're, like, right over here near the start of the level. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, now hopefully this is all that I'm missing. Okay. We're good now. I should also probably, like, check my recording time. Well, I... See, that's the thing. The way that I record, I can't check my time, so I have no idea how long my episodes are. And that's a little... Well, that's a little frustrating, if I do say so myself. Why can't I double jump and be successful at double jumping? Guys, I know how to do skips in this game. I actually... When did you fall to the ground? Or were you just always on the ground? Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't like this level very much anymore. Okay, now this is the scene that I will always remember as being the strangest thing ever. So you see those hands, like, flap upwards? And then this happens. It's- what the fuck? He's covering the evidence, too! He's a fucking psychopath! Oh my god, what the fuck? Game! Insomniac! What were you thinking? I know you would go on to make Ratchet and Clank and then go on to make Resistance, but... Psychopathic much? Like, what the hell? That's just crazy, man. That's some, that's some damn crazy talk. So, um, next time on Let's Play uh, Spyro 2, we're actually gonna do something else. Because the other level, the last level here in Autumn Plains, is another level that you can't complete without head bash. But it's a level that you really can't do much of anything without head bash. You're ca you can't get an orb, and you can't get a lot of the gems. So, um, instead of doing that, like devoting an episode to that, next time we're going to do the second speedway, we're going to clean out the rest of the home world, and then we're going to go do Shady Oasis which is what the level's called. We're going to run through it really quickly, and then we're going to fight the boss all in one video, and it shouldn't be too long. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Man, don't burp at the end of the freaking, like, episode when you're trying to do an outro. Ugh!